Hello everyone and welcome to Chinese with Pei. Today we'll cover the final sound in Mandarin Chinese. It is the sound yu. It's a sound that's kind of difficult for, well it's, it is probably the most difficult sound for most English speakers to make in Mandarin Chinese. So let's just kind of jump right into it then. So yu in the juin is written like this down, over, and down. Mm. Now in pinyin, it's either written Y, U, U, with what's called an umlaut, which is that double dot there, umlaut, um, or, and this is where it gets kind of tricky, for a lot of people, or just a U. But that's only when it's preceded by Y, J, Q, and X. So if these are in front of it, it'll just be a U, like we have here. But it's, if it's with any other sounds, mm. it'll be have this umlaut. Um, that's to help you distinguish it from ooh, ooh. So, yeah. So let's go over kind of how to make this sound, and then we'll go over some of the special rules that go along with this sound. So, it's it's kind of a mix of sounds between um, ooh and e. So, um. You're gonna you're gonna wanna go kind of like okay. Easiest way to explain this is get your mouth in a position to make an E and then move just your lips into the O position. So E U U U U and you gotta kind of train the muscles in your mouth to make that noise. <laughs> so it's kind of to get this down. I literally, for two years in a Chinese class, stood in front of a pronunciation poster and went over every single possible pronunciation in the Mandarin Chinese system and just did that every day. Every day for two years. That's what I did. <laughs> Um, that's how I got that sound out. I'm not saying you have to do that. You could just watch this video and here's the exercise I'm going to give you. Uh, so you don't have to do that. Um, it's just, just what I just said. Just and just do that with that sound. And once that you get that down, you can just make that sound. Then start adding the other sounds that go with it. So this is u, g, ch, sh. You'll also see lu and nu, among others. So this appears in several words. It's not an uncommon sound necessarily. So it's not like oh I don't need to worry about learning that one. I can pick it up later because you won't. <laughs> you need to get it down. E, e, e. Okay, so let's go over the special rules that surround this sound. Um, so when this sound, when we have e and un, un, as in j u n. Jun, and the word in Jun, in Jun is um, handsome. In Jun, Jun. Let's say you get an un sound or un. Un means cloud. Un. It's un. Okay. And the next rule 
is when you have u, um, u, um. Now this is by itself. Um, when it's by itself, like I said, if it starts it, it's y o n g yong is in yong, eternal yong. Um, but it can also appear with other words, in which case this Y that's meant to represent this U, this Y-U, U-Um-Yong, becomes a I. So, sounds like Q-I-O-N-G, Chong, Chong. Or X I O N D Xiong as in Xiong Di. Xiong Di, brothers as in just brothers, or Xiong Di. So, Yong. And that's kind of the rules that surround that character. So, in our next video, we'll go over tones. I'll do a video going over some character tips. I'll start into a uh, discussion on radicals in another video, and then we'll jump right into uh, vocab and grammar. And that's kind of our game plan for the next few videos. And I hope this one was helpful, and if it was, hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Chinese with Pei.